do you guys love watching reality shows? Yeah. Ah. Because I love watching them too. But, you know, there are so many different reality shows, it's so hard to keep up. So who better to break it all down for us than our resident reality TV expert, Norman Baker. Hey! Norman Baker! What's up? <laughs> hey, family! <laughs> so, Hi. Norman, hey! Excited. Look, I got a mug! You got a mug? <laughs> Before. Look at you. We kept you in the cage too long. Know, right? time. You ready to bust <laughs> like out and bust this. I am glad that you're here. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Well, Norman, you love reality TV so much. Uh -huh. now, you got to tell me, what do you love about reality TV? Oh my goodness. Where do I even begin? I love reality TV. Yes, like, I'm did. into it. It's like, it's got everything. Like, it's uh, love and hate and anger and yeah. jealousy and all that other stuff. And it's like, you can also see people like throw drinks in each other's faces, which is like my favorite thing. That's what you yeah. sound like uh -huh. a regular relationship on a Saturday exactly. night. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, right, so we're gonna we're gonna talk reality. The first thing we're gonna talk about Norman is uh -huh. housewives. Okay. Okay. So the housewives are guaranteed. You know that's my special. That's your special. Uh -huh. Okay. The housewives. <laughs> so that's why we started because they are guaranteed to call each other names, especially on Potomac. Uh huh. Okay. So on Potomac. They called the Grand Dame Karen a prostitute. Uh oh. Yes, they did. Take a look, uh -oh. y'all. Take a look. Did she tell you she called you a prostitute? Um, did she tell you that? No, she missed that part. She missed that part. Okay, you ask her about it. Okay. So when you, you excuse yourself for a oh, minute. Okay, sure. Yeah. yeah, don't take this seriously. All right. All right, look here. I am a mother. That's right. I am a member of the community. I am the ambassador to Sari. I don't have to respond. I don't feel like defending myself tonight. I feel like this is stupid. You don't appreciate people talking about you in the streets. Now, you didn't say it wasn't true. Good job, Karen. Karen, do you you know she, do you think it was right for them to come at the grand dame like this? No, you don't come for the grand dame like this. She's a classy, classy woman. Her candle has three wicks, everybody. It's like she's classy. <laughs> You know, like, she's not a woman of the evening. But this is what I'm curious about, because she said, she kept saying, I'm not going to defend this. I'm a mother, I'm a community member. But she never said, I'm not, it's not right. true. Yeah, she never said that, uh-huh. But I just, I don't really believe she's a prostitute. You don't, you just don't go after her. What I really love, though, about right. this clip is Ray. Can we put Ray back up on oh, the stage? Oh, they're her husband. Ray's reaction, look at him. He's like, oh no, oh no. I don't want no parts of this. Get me out of here. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Oh my God. Hey, look at him. <laughs> he does, he does. It's my favorite part. I love him so much. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when you're, trying to, when you're trying to listen to the gossip, but like not, you're like, mm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no, I love he him. got that look like, I didn't think about asking her that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so Norman, speaking of housewives, uh -huh. we got to talk about Kenya Moore oh, from Atlanta. Kenya. Because Kenya Moore uh -huh. is on Special Forces World's Toughest Test. Yes. Okay, and on this show, the celebrities go through boot camp. They do all of these crazy stunts. Uh -huh. And in the latest episode, they took it a step further and lit Kenya on fire. Uh-oh. Uh, take a look. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Kenya! Okay. Now, I Kenya to do a lot of uh -huh. things, but are you surprised that Kenya allowed them to let them I light know. on fire? Now, I always say Kenya is the hottest housewife, <laughs> but now I really mean it. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> but like, anytime, anytime, Norman, you gotta put that much jelly on yeah, your face. Uh -huh. Like, I remember being in Chicago, we in Chicago, you put uh -huh. Vaseline on your face, you yeah. ready to fight. You ready to fight. <laughs> or you got to take your school photo. You to... <laughs> That's how my mother used to like, so we wouldn't be ashy in school. Okay. <laughs> so it's like, and plus, just, I don't know if Kenya's selling a new line of wigs, but you know, the wigs is flammable. They are. <laughs> Who okay. set Kenya on fire? I bet Nene and Portia are somewhere. Like, hmm, why didn't we think of that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. I, I think so. I think, yeah, few, I think it's a few housewives going, hmm, that's uh -huh, a good yeah. one. <laughs> all right, so Norman, there's this reality show with the crazy premise, and it's yes. called Milf Manor. Yes. Okay, so Milf Milf Manor, can uh -huh. you please tell me about this? Okay, so you know Milf Manor. We know that's like mothers. I'd like to, if you don't know what that mothers stands for, like, ask, you know, your mama, ask your mama. Ask your mama. <laughs> okay. Right, but it's uh, women who are of a certain age, between 60 and 40, and they want to find a younger man. So they go to an island, 
but there's a plot twist. The uh, younger men are their sons. So oh my goodness. it's eight moms and eight, eight mo sons, eight and they're moms. dating each other's sons. It's nobody so knows. icky. It's okay, gross. take a look. It sounds crazy. We got a clip. Go, take a look. I'm ready to connect with somebody who doesn't really care how old I am. I'm just looking to have fun. Here we go. What the hell? Wait, that's my mom right there? This can't be going on. I'm like completely shocked. I see my son back there and it's like, who are all these guys? So cool. We're supposed to date the other moms. Uh, and you're here, that's so weird. Yeah. That is so weird. <laughs> okay, first of all, disgusting. whose idea, Norman, was this? <laughs> it's disgusting. It's like the opposite of Michelle Obama. When they go low, I want to tune in. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but now, would you, would, could you do this show if it was you and your mother? Oh, and she's my trying goodness. To date other... Shout out to Lois Baker. We're not going on this show together. It's, like, disgusting. <laughs> I, if I saw her dating somebody, I might have to, like, get my father. We go punch this guy in the face. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to think. Like, first of all, I, you know me. I like a, I like a good younger man. Uh -huh, I do, uh -huh. but I'm not. I don't want Jeffrey seeing Freaky Deaky Mama. No, come out. no, not... it's disgusting. Yeah, like Jeffrey, yeah. Not, Jeffrey still thinks I just had like the angels came down and put him in my right. belt. Like, <laughs> immaculate. Immaculate. That's <laughs> right. what I want. And I don't want to see Jeffrey with a woman my age. No, no. Cause it ain't gonna be called Milf Manners. It's gonna be called Bust Somebody in the Mouth. <laughs> I ain't messing yes. with my son. <laughs> All right, we'll go together. We'll get in the car. We'll take a put Vaseline in our faces. Okay, we'll put this jelly in our faces. Right. Norman, I want to say thank you so much for coming wow. out of the control room oh, thank you to so share much. your reality TV knowledge. Thank you. Now I'm gonna have to have to say, Norman, you got to get back to work. Okay. 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 <laughs> now I'm looking for that hat. No, leave my hat alone. Leave my hat alone, Norman. <laughs>